Love Would it. our worlds be different shades of red or blue if we were orbiting a blue or red star? With our current eyes, yes. But if we evolve there, there's no reason why our evolutionary path wouldn't have taken, divided up the, the blue light into different subcategories. Yeah, but if you have pure red, then the entire Earth's going to feel like a brothel. Yeah, however... Right? Don't pretend you don't know what that is. The width of our sensitivity to light is much greater than any single band of light. Say that again, you lost me. All right, so you have Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Do you know Roy G. Biv? You don't know Roy? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy G. Biv. You, okay. You never, you never knew No, that? I never heard, no. You gotta learn something every day. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Okay. <laughs> okay, Roy G. Biv. We see all those colors. Now, when we make color photos uh, by Hubble or the James Webb Telescope, in the infrared part of the spectrum, you can't see colors in the infrared part of the spectrum. So you know what we do? We take RGB, slap it onto different wavelengths in the infrared part of the spectrum, and create a color photograph out of it. That's what you would see if our sight was shifted to the infrared part of the spectrum. It's what the world would look like. So the infrared part of the spectrum, is it neutral in color? You can't detect it at all. But if we evolved to see it, there's no reason to think our brain wouldn't assign colors to it. That's what's going on here. We're assigning colors. In fact, Richard Dawkins, the evolutionary biologist, thinks that bats actually, when they echolocate, they see in color because their mammal brain has that capacity. So why not use it?